welcome back to my channel and this is your monthly reading from Anything Spiritual. Firstly, I would just like to say a big thank you for all the likes and subscribes that my uh, channel receives. I'm always very grateful. Before we get on to your reading, I will quickly show you these books. This is a dad notebook. It's now available on Amazon. It's a lovely Christmas present and there are little messages at the bottom of each page saying world's best dad, love you dad, things like that. Notebook. It's all about love, so a little love notebook with love hearts and things at the bottom of random pages. Again, available on Amazon. And a tarot journal, it has um, tr trigger word ideas and then it has three different sort of tarot spreads and then lots of areas where you can record your tarot readings. Okay, Libra. They, I'll put the links to all those books in the description below. They're all available on Amazon. And also in the description below, I'll put a link to my sister's channel, Mind's Eye Inspiration. She also releases monthly videos. And next month with the November readings, we will have some new books and also some year ahead for 2022. Okay, Libra, you look like you've got an exciting month in October because I was asking, what does the month ahead hold for you? And two cards fell out. And it was the Hierophant and it was the Two of Cups. Now the Hierophant is about tradition and the Two of Cups is about coming together. It shows two people standing there looking at each other, both holding that cup of love. Now, with that coming out with the Hierophant, and the Hierophant being about tradition, what is linked to tradition and two people coming together? Let's say marriage. So, we've got a possible marriage on the cards. And if it's not marriage, it can be a relationship um, coming together in the eyes of, you know, tradition, in the eyes of other people, they are seeing this coming together, they are seeing um, this closeness. The Hierophant can also be a teacher, a mentor, something like that, somebody helping you, but the fact that it's come out with the Two of Cups, the fact that those two cards have come out together, tells me that this is more to do with the tradition of two people coming together could be um, if it's a tradition, an arranged marriage or something like that, can be anything to do with a tradition linked to you where two people are coming together. This is something that tends to happen in your family, in your world. So let's have a look what other cards come out for you, Libra. But it certainly looks like a coming together. I mean, look what other cards we've got here. The Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups. It's all about love. Well, you need that's all about love notebook, don't you? <laughs> it does definitely seem to be all about love this month for you, Libra. What is going on? Okay, and I'll keep shuffling these cards, but we will start with these readings. So we've got the Three of Cups here. The Three of Cups is to do with an in advancement in a particular area and advancement in love so you've obviously already made decisions you've obviously already made plans of what you want in your life and you are now advancing ahead with those plans you are now making those next steps forward because that's what the three is about it's about advancing it's about moving on it's about taking those steps and look what we've got here, the Ten of Cups. You couldn't get a better card out there when it comes to relationships. I mean, this, this reading isn't necessarily a relationship reading. These are general readings and they can, you know, resonate with people in different ways. But this definitely seems to be a sort of love relationship for Libra this month. So you've got the Ten of Cups. And that's just, you know, happy family, happy relationship, happy cups, having everything you want. Being sort of fulfilled um, in, in most sorts of areas there, okay? Now we do have the Three of Swords. When this card comes out, that's normally some sort of betrayal. That's normally some sort of hurt. But the fact that that's come out with all such good cards tells me you've worked towards getting over that hurt. So this hurt, I feel, is in the past. It's next to the Eight of Pentacles. He's working hard. The Eight of Pentacles has worked hard. The Eight of Cards has, Pentacles, sorry, has studied. The Eight of Pentacles has trained. These two cards are together. That, to me, is saying you're really happy. There's a celebration going on here, an advancement in your life. You now are where, where you wanted to be. You worked hard for this because you've been hurt in the past you worked hard libra to get over this hurt that you had in the past let's pull another card a um 
a spellcaster tarot card and just clarify this reading and we'll have the one that come out on top there and you've got temperance you've now created balance in your life look at the future look at that sun shining you've created balance okay you've got your feet firmly on the ground you did this libra well done okay you've done this we've, you've created this balance and this happiness in your life we've got the king of swords there the swords is an air sign you're also an air sign okay libra so we've got that king of swords there the king of swords can be about taking advice but for you i feel you don't need to necessarily take advice because you you're going places you're going where you want to go okay you're doing what you want to do so and this is obviously you as an air sign. Perhaps you're giving advice to other people as well. But whatever it is, the King of Swords is often about um, taking advice. But I feel for you, it could be representing, you know, you've got to where you are because you've taken advice in the past. Okay. Four of Cups. You've been feeling bored. You needed a bit of insight. This, this is coming out to you so to me again it's saying that whatever's coming towards you this month is fulfilling you okay and that's underneath that ten of cups where I talked about being fulfilled in every way you haven't been Libra but you're going to be this month this here and this two of cups you had at the beginning where I said you know tradition and love are coming together it's making you happy it's filling in all those gaps that you had it's lovely. It's just absolutely lovely. The Six of Pentacles, again, is about change. And you can see people there transferring money to each other. Now, we talked about temperance and we talked about balance. To me, this is a good relationship. Whatever's happening this month is coming together. It could be coming together with somebody new. It could be a stronger connection with somebody you've already had. But it's going to be more balanced, okay? Balanced in every which way. Balanced emotionally, balanced financially. And again, we've got the star card, another card there representing balance, representing, um, you can see that she's naked there, so sometimes a bit of vulnerability. You've had that vulnerability. You felt vulnerable. You felt hurt. You've got over that now. You've become a stronger person, Libra, okay? So you've got to come in together this month. You've got tradition, so possibly marriage. You are balancing everything out and everything is becoming much more happier for you. You're getting rid of that discontentment that you had. You're going to be feeling better financially, emotionally. Everything is sort of balancing out. Now let's have a look at your guardian angel card and see what message your guardian angels have for you. And it says helper of thought. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving and review the details as best as you can. You know we'll meet or ask someone with a very quick mind who instantly grabs, grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So it talks about somebody helping you, somebody that you know will meet or is someone who's very quick with their minds, someone who instantly grasps things, who knows what to do. Is this the person you're getting a stronger connection with this month? Is this the person you could be marrying, the person you could be coming together with? Who knows? But things are moving very quick for you, Libra, okay? It's all happening in the month of October and it's all happening very fast. That is the message for you. It's coming, it's happening and it's going to be fast. Let's have a look at your Angel and Saints card. Pause. <laughs> you won't have time to pause, okay? Time to pause. Your pause is over. We're putting that pause there with the her take in the past. The pause is in the past because everything's going to move quick for you this month, Libra, okay? It's all moving ahead. Normally, I... Normally we do um, love and relationships. We'll pull a one love and relationship card to clarify, but this reading seems to have been all about love and relationships, so I don't think we need to pull any more than that. And the one that's fell out on top playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthfulness spirit to shine okay so this month is all about it certainly seems all about romance for you it's about moving on it's about coming together it's about being happy it's about balancing it's about getting everything back in your life the way you want it and it's all going to happen fast there's no time to stop 
and you're bringing that playfulness back. Wow, Libra, I'm exhausted just at the thought of all of this. I hope you have a good month. Remember, the link's in the description below to my books, my sister's channel, and remember to come back next month for your November readings and your year ahead for 2022. Thank you for watching.